welcome to our Safe Heart virtual tour of our seafood counter. So today we're going to talk a little bit about our fish department. We have our cooked seafood right here with some jumbo shrimp, some imitation crab, which is pretty much the hot dog of the sea made with white fish, pollen, and we have our shrimp meat and our pokey and our snow crab. Which is funny about snow crab, they have little bodies but really big legs. And now we have our fish fillets, our salmon, tilapia, catfish, they have little whiskers when they're whole, and they also have the white ruffy and the rock cod. Some fish are wild and some fish are farm raised. And the difference between that is that the wild fish are just they eat whatever they want in the wild, so they taste a little bit different than the farm raised, which have a controlled diet, which they eat every day. So it's gonna have the consistency in that fish. Over here, we have our shellfish, some shrimp, some scallops. The cool thing about scallops is that they come in a really wide flat shell. And then when you open them and shuck them, they turn into these little tiny white pillows of delicious. Who likes seafood? I do, I do. I can't see your hand raised, but I know some of you are saying yeah, and some of you are probably going, ew! Ew, they stink! So, moving on to the shrimp. The really fun part about shrimp is that they come with a little head and they have a little horn on them, like a unicorn, but they, that comes off. So then they just become the delicious little shrimp you see every day in your shelf. And we also have lobster tails up there. And they're frozen. They're nice, five ounce lobster tails. Right here, we have our barbecued oysters. The oysters are really cool because if you find one that's big enough and very bottom of the ocean, you can probably find a little tiny pearl in it. Not these ones though, they're too young. <laughs> Hi kids, my name is Mike. I'm the receiver here at Saymart in Lakeland. Um, I'm going to show you how to operate a bell. This is what we use to bell all our farm boards right here. Um, so what we do with this is put it inside the bale, smashes it down. After it gets full, we get wires to tie it up so it looks like this right here. And you can see how strong and, and tight this is. And here's the wires right here to hold all this together. Um, this then goes to our warehouse where they put it in a big pond of water, warehouse full of water, and they, they turn it to mush, okay? So it disintegrates kind of into this soggy, mushy stuff that they make paper or whatever they want to make out of it. More cardboard. It just recycles. Can so, you show them how to use a baler, Mike? Yes. I'll show you guys how to use the baler. First of all, you have to have safety glasses on first to operate this, okay? So you put these on here like this, okay? And then you get cardboard one piece at a time, throw it in. Throw it in there, and you throw it in there, okay? So what we got to do is pull this lever down so nobody's hands or feet or anything to get in there. Caution, wear safety glasses, okay? Then you push this green button, and then you can hear the noise of this up here going down and smashing the cardboard. All right, and that's it, Mike. After that, once you smash the cardboard, what happens? Okay. Then the door will pop. So okay. the door's gonna pop up. It takes a few seconds here, uh, and then we're gonna add more to it if you like. We have more cardboard, which I do. So when that pops up by itself, we're gonna throw the rest of this cardboard inside there, and then we're done. So and the result of all that is. is Make this bail right here. After all that, whoop, pop it popped right open. Thank you. 
push pressure to receive a bubble and then a quick little smiley face. If you want to get a little bit more creative, you can draw a circle and maybe just fill it in. You're going to just use gently pressure to let the frosting release out of the bag. One more circle. Pressure to release frosting out of the bag. And then your smiley face. Get a little creative, do a little swoopy. And that's basically how you frost a cookie with your frosty bags.